Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of Raphael, the archangel. God is our healer. Nope, not tear. He's a false god. Quick acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right, topic of the message. All right, we are I discovered on the Hebrew calendar. This was the day that uh, Joshua told the sun to stop. You know, stop in place so he can try to win the war. Hmm. That's interesting. I hope so. But anyway, but the topic of the message, the three H nation scripture, very important scripture. And the topic of my uh, message is, you know, uh, how it, it's, it's, you know, uh, it's talking about, oh, can I forget to go in the scriptures, but it's talking about we are Jesus Christ's workmanship. Now, the only way we can be Jesus Christ's workmanship is how much we allow him to work on us, how much we allow him to work on our hearts, work on our soul, work on our mind. His workmanship is important to understand. See, I mean, look, like I was talking to a person, I said, well, every Christian is on different levels and someone, some here, some there, some there, some here, but they're at their level based upon how much they are allowing Jesus Christ to work on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're there at that level, you know, of where they're at concerning their performance concerning of how they allow God to work inside of them. You know, the thing is how much we follow the word of God, how much we apply the word of God in our lives will determine how much work we can allow Jesus Christ to do through us to uh, that we can be, of course, more like him Genesis 1 26 made in an image and the likeness of God is really the ultimate goal of every Christian and un and hopefully everybody that understands that through Christ that you can only be get back to the image and the likeness of God that we hope and shine to share the good news of God's word and shine the light of Christ through our works and showing forth the love of God towards others is how that can only be accomplished. And, uh, try, okay. Oh, Ephesians two, Ephesians two. And, um, yeah, there's Ephesians two, uh, that, uh, sorry. Uh, oh, the Ephesians nine. I mean, two and nine, not of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his work, workmanship created in Christ Jesus, created in Christ Jesus, not created within our own ability, a lot of people. Um, good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk in them. See, this is what I'm, I mean, now I love what Paul says right here that, you know, is the problem of a lot of people because I learned as much I become humble and submissive to what God wants to do concerning my heart and soul and mind that, uh, that, that I found out how much people are who they are based upon you know, the idea of they people want to do things to prove to people that they can do something good. You know, how we want to prove to everybody or prove to our family or our friends or whoever around us, we want to prove to everybody that we can do some right. And they see that if we can do some right now, you know, we accomplish something or some, something like that. But that's the problem right now that if God, if Jesus Christ is trying to do a work in you and you're busy with an idea tr within your mind of what, how you gonna do what something and accomplish something within your ability, God is gonna have, Jesus is gonna have a difficult time working on you, working on your heart because see what, what Paul says, 
lest any man boasts. Like if I accomplish something, I'm going to boast or or we call it brag about what I did. I passed the test. I did this. I did that. Yay, me. You know, I did this and I did that. And look at me. I'm great. Hope you see me as a great person. Hope you treat me as a great person. You know, it's the problem of a lot of people that if God is going to do a work in you, it's not for you to boast or brag about what has what is going on inside you, but it's for, of course, Jesus Christ to get the uh, all the credit of you accomplishing and successful. Like I did a message on that Jesus is the author and the finisher of our faith. But we have to give him authority. We have to submit and give him authority over our lives, over our heart, over our soul, over our mind, that he can finish, he can accomplish the work, more likely the work. And, the, and we are his workmanship. We are more likely Jesus Christ's product of what he did. When we show forth love to people, when we have the joy of the Lord as our strength, when we have the peace that passes understanding, that is the evidence of Jesus Christ working in our lives. And not only, and, and you know, and that is in areas, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's one thing that you can have love, joy, peace, you know, at your home, but it's another thing to have love, joy, peace at your job. And it's another thing to have love, joy, peace at your job than, and have love, joy, peace at school. And see, in different places, we will learn how to, uh, I believe that God, when Jesus do a work in us, we will learn how to uh, 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 perform the love that's needed to shine or show forth or shine forth towards people around us when we're in those positions when uh, at work, you know, whatever you work at, you know, when you are a, a, a factory worker, uh, someone, you know, um, messed up or uh, you know, something and you help that person out, whatever, you know, or someone needed some money, you, you know, gave them, you know, certain things that you learn how to master and do concerning being a servant and listen to, I learned when you listen to the master, you learn to master things concerning the fruit of the spirit, love, you know, we're supposed to learn to master love as because if we're supposed to be more like, or, or we are a workmanship of Jesus Christ, we're supposed to be like him. We're supposed to be like the master. We're supposed to become a servant that we hear his instructions and follow instructions, that we will be more like our master, that we will master the ideas of the things of God concerning love, joy, peace, gentleness, long suffering, meekness, temperance, faith, is what we need to understand concerning our development as a Christian and as being the workmanship of Christ Jesus to do good works, which such God had before ordained as what we, you know, concerning um, the beginning. God has ordained us that we should accomplish the things that Jesus Christ did. More likely, Jesus Christ was the second Adam and, and, and of course, Adam did not do, unfortunately, didn't do the good works because he got in deception with the serpent through Eve. Now, Jesus Christ, the second Adam that it talks about in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, uh, took his place. That But we were supposed to do works through Adam. But the second Adam, we can now do become his workmanship and do the good works that was ordained, you know, before. You know what I'm saying, Han? that, you know, we are supposed to be doing, you know what I'm saying? These, we're supposed to be loving. We're supposed to have joy. We're supposed to have peace, you know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, people don't understand, of course, in darkness, you know what I'm saying? It's like I tell people that darkness relies on the carnal mind. And then when you have the carnal mind, you live according to your own knowledge. And when you live according to your own knowledge, you will live according to what you know, you know what I'm saying? But you're not... And, and what, how much you lean towards your knowledge that it says in 1 Corinthians 8, you puff up your knowledge that you don't un, don't realize need to realize that you got to understand how to truly be who you are in Christ Jesus. As what Jesus says in Matthew 13, that we understand in 15, you understanding your heart, 
when we understand in our heart the works that must be performed, the good works that talks about in Ephesians uh, 5 and 16. So we let our light shine, you know, our works to all men, you know, concerning our Father in heaven, to please our Father in heaven. We are supposed to be aiming to, when we show forth our works of Jesus Christ, we're supposed to be aiming to please our Father in heaven. Not ourselves, not our image that people that we must boast. And everybody say, ooh, you know, you, you love people a lot. Ooh, you have joy a lot. Ooh, you have peace a lot. Uh, Jesus Christ is because of Jesus Christ, because I'm a workmanship of Jesus Christ, not Matt Johnson. No, what you see is not Matt Johnson at all. And Matt Johnson is never, ever going to boast concerning the position that he's in right now, because I... Look, was I was after that world just I wanted that world just like you did, you know what I'm saying? But Jesus, you know, uh detoured me to this uh direction that I'm going, and he helped me, and I allowed him to work on my heart through humility and being humble because me, I, I don't feel like I have nothing to prove to anybody, or I don't think people are people that you should prove yourself to because when you see the negative uh, things that people do and how much the less respect that this world system, you know, uh, does, you know, in the performance of people, they should not, you know, feel like you should have to prove anything to them. But I love the idea that, you know, of being transformed, Romans 12, being transformed by the renewing of mind, that we're all about proving what is good and what is acceptable, pleasing unto God. We can't prove nothing under man because here's the about man. See, if you try to like be good, you know, to prove man that I'm better, I mean, I'm better than you, they will look at that. Oh, you try to be better than me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and or, and if you, and if you are doing good, then they feel, they get jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? You can't win with man. You can't, you can't, if you can't really, win with men to try to get people to like you because either they're going to be jealous of you or you know they think you better than you know it's not good to brag or boast of if you accomplish things in life period with men because you're wasting your time because men are on this on jealousy because they operate in darkness they operate in the flesh you know what i'm saying because that's the, to me i call it the adam and eve i mean a uh, cain and abel situation see cain got uh, angry at Abel because Abel was trying to be better than him in the uh, offerings. You know what I'm saying? He didn't humble himself. The humble person said, you know, uh, Abel, could you teach me how to be faithful and how to make good offerings unto God every, you know, seven years? You know, could you show me some tactics that I can work on to help better improve myself to give forth an offering unto God? Now, notice this thing is all about being unto God. You know, when you allow Jesus Christ to work in your life, this is an unto God factor. This is not unto men factor. You're not going to please men. As much as men operate in the flesh, you're not going to please them. You know what I'm saying? The flesh is hot today, cold the other day. It's, it's wet. It's dry. You know, there's no stability in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? It's not a stable place that people will, they, they will hate, love you today, hate you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? They, they feel happy right now. They feel sad. And there's no stability in the flesh. So it's what you're wasting your time trying to brag and boast to people saying, if you know, I, I'm this, I'm that. You know what I'm saying? You're wasting your time if you want to get them to like you or whatever. Just put it on Jesus Christ where it truly deserved, period, point blank. Because it's through Jesus Christ's workmanship that we accomplish things. And we're supposed to accomplish greater and greater and greater and greater things that we need to understand as much as we allow through humility and umbra and, and submission, we allow Jesus Christ to do a work inside our heart, soul, and mind. That's why you're supposed to love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, and mind, that he can accomplish that whole work that needs to be accomplished, that we will be his workmanship, that we can give him glory and not our self-glory because we didn't do, really do anything. We just, you know, breathe air 
enough. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. And I hope you learn to be a workmanship of Christ Jesus and let him work on you so you can do good works concerning your father in heaven. To God be the glory, him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.